After the recent announcement that the British firm Rolls-Royce is close to finalise a partnership for developing a new jet engine with India, the UK Defence Secretary Ben Wallace has said that UK has invited more international partners for its Tempest 6th generation fighter programme, and this comes after last week's reports that Sweden has shown no commitment to join the Tempest project, even after signing a memorandum of understanding with the UK in 2019. The UK Ministry of Defence officials have already briefed their Indian counterparts about the new stealth fighter project which the UK is keen to develop jointly with India, but it seems that India is cautious about the programme, as the conditions around the fighter programme has too many similarities with the Indo-Russian FGFA programme. The technology demonstrator will require $2.6 billion of investment, and further funding requirements will be around $10 billion for each partner. The DRDO today conducted flight tests of the helicopter-launched Helena anti-tank guided system in direct and top approach mode, and it will now be known as the Dhruvastra, and as the name indicates, it will be equipped on the indigenous Dhruv advanced light helicopter and as well as Rudra armed helicopter. It can be launched from land and air-based platforms, and its land version is already available for integration with the Namico carrier, that has been derived from the BMP-2 vehicle. India has deployed 10 maritime strike variants of Jaguar strike aircraft under the Andaman and Nicobar command, which are fitted with an Israeli Acer radar and 130 km range Harpoon Block 2 anti ship systems. After deploying its P 8I long range surveillance and reconnaissance aircraft near the LAC, the Indian Navy has also started the deployment of its MiG 29K fighter jets to frontline air bases to reinforce the western border with Pakistan as the Indian Air Force's MiG-29 UPG fighters have been moved out of their home bases to the India-China border. The US Under Secretary of Defense for Acquisition and Sustainment Ellen Lord has said that the US and India are negotiating a co-development program for the air-launched unmanned aerial vehicle with the DRDO and the Indian Air Force, and the US Air Force Research Labs have also signed a cooperative research and development agreement with an Indian startup company to support the development of the UAV. Larsen and Tubro Defence has developed a new medium-altitude long-endurance unmanned air vehicle, which has a better payload carrying capacity and even the maximum takeoff weight is on the higher side, and it features automatic takeoff and landing from the standard runway at 10,500 feet with a full payload, and is fitted with an electro-optic infrared camera, synthetic aperture radar and EW support measures. India is searching for an Indian vendor to design develop and manufacture minefield recording systems based on global positioning system and geographical information system, and the current requirement is for 1840 units, and the handheld device will be used to record the details of the mines laid by the soldier. The DRDO has delivered an indigenously developed drone to the Indian Army, for carrying out accurate day and night real-time surveillance in extreme cold and high-altitude areas in the East and Ladakh sector. The drone is equipped with artificial intelligence to detect friends and adversaries, and is very difficult to be detected by radar systems.